While an emulator is never the best way to experience software, the newly released Android 12L is one that we simply had to get a closer look at. So consider this as an early and sort of strange hands-on with the latest build. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be notified about all our future uploads. Before we really dive in though, I have to explain this up top before we get properly into the meat of this build. At the moment, Android 12L is very much a work in progress and is only available via a preview build via an emulator through Android Studio. That means you will need to download and access Android Studio to even give this early build a test for yourself. In our opinion, it's probably not worth the effort for the average person out there or even just a general tech fan, but we do have a simple set of guides on how to get it up and running on a Chromebook or Chrome OS device, and it is relatively easy to set up on Windows 2. You can find links to both of these below this video. Also, if you missed our explainer video, we have also linked that down below as well. There will be actual Android hardware that will be able to run Android 12L or at least the preview builds, but that tablet, the Lenovo P12 Pro is not yet available to buy, but it is set to ship very soon. So with that said, here's some findings and some early impressions of this early preview at Android 12L. So while multitasking is by no means a mess on Android as it is, Google is set to tweak the experience for larger displays and foldable devices with Android 12L, and that is one of the core tenets of this entire preview build. To make better use of the space available, this updated multitasking or recent pane shows up one app in what is a large view, the app that's particularly open, with a new split shortcut underneath it. This added shortcut will allow you to skip the long press of app icons to get a secondary app on screen, which is a neat time saving toggle, we must admit, and it's surprising we haven't had this before. All other applications within the recent section, though, they are minimized in off to the left in a 4x4 grid. You're also able to tap the floating app icons themselves to quickly enter split screen using a pin toggle, but the experience does remain the same as it has done previously while increasing all on screen app animations and information. The taskbar is also yet to be another huge component within Android 12L for devices with larger displays. And this looks very similar to the taskbar you probably have seen on Chrome OS hardware and very many other software builds out there. This only appears though when you have an app open, but unlike a customizable dock that you're probably used to on macOS, for instance, it mirrors the dock you'll see on the home screen and is just limited to just five applications. Double tapping this can hide it, but we haven't been able to get this working ourselves. But at least at this stage, the taskbar itself is quite buggy and it doesn't always appear to work correctly. This effectively just gives you quick access or almost like you would on a desktop PC or a laptop to your most used or regularly accessed applications at the expense of a little bit of screen real estate. For those worried that this will come to normal smartphone screens, in our testing it doesn't seem to activate on smaller display sizes and only appears by default on larger panels, which mirrors the official developer documentation that Google has already published. It's also worth noting that an updated split screen mode is live and available in Android 12L, but it is very much tied to device orientation. So if a foldable device is in portrait mode, windows can only be stacked on top of each other like they currently can in most Android builds. And then in landscape mode, the split screen windows will only work side by side, which is as you'd expect. As one of the few OEMs with mainstream foldable devices on the market, Samsung's method in One UI currently differs from Google's implementation in that it allows for either option at either orientation. We wager that this will change as Android 12 L develops and matures ahead of release later next year though. Split screen mode also works in tandem with the taskbar as you're able to do things like drag and drop the icons from this dock to initiate the dual app view or split screen. This screen will highlight either side of the display where the app will be opened to help ensure you have the perfect orientation to suit you. And this feels incredibly intuitive even at this stage, but it does feel eerily similar to the implementation that is already in use on iPad OS. However, that's not a bad thing as it just highlights how smooth the feature is even at this early stage of the build. The notification shade is yet another area that has received some work and attention in Android 12L, and this is an area that has already seen a number of tweaks courtesy of the stable Android 12 build, but 12L enhances this quick panel on a larger display probably for the better. Instead of just a single pane or single view, the notification shade is now split into two columns. 
The left section contains an expanded 8 quick toggles for you to access with your notification log to the right of that. You can expand the notification toggles slightly out as you would on a regular smartphone running Android 12 and this gives you access via a left swipe to any that you can instantly access or are hidden as you see fit. While this is undoubtedly a good change, it does feel a little less useful when you have new notifications present. There is a ton of white space as a result of that section being cleared that can make new, the new notification shade feel slightly sparse or barren as a result. Some might consider this a negative, but it is slightly better we must admit than the current implementation, at least for those of you out there with larger displays. In much the same way that the notification shade is being tweaked to take better advantage of larger displays, the settings menu is also set to introduce a new two column approach within Android 12L. Effectively, this should save time having to open a specific section within settings as the left side of your display will include the list of sections while the right side or right column will include the specific toggles and options associated with that section. For foldable devices and tablets, this will make a big difference as all of your screen real estate is more utilized effectively in one view pane. You may remember as well the side hamburger menu from Android Nougat. This now new change in Android 12L also proved to be a substantial improvement over that previous implementation that is fairly similar all things considered. Another slight change that we almost forgot about, the upcoming Android 12L release now includes more tweaks to the wallpaper based material you theme in and with a slight and almost missable tweak to the boot logo. When rebooting or booting up the device for the first time running Android 12L, the actual G logo will now adhere to your system theming options. This is currently limited though to the dark theme and is unclear if it will be limited to pixel hardware moving forward. Well, that's just about everything that is instantly apparent within Android 12L, and it turns out there isn't anything huge at this stage, but that's just the beginning of things to come. And there are, of course, going to be plenty of hidden features that we'll no doubt hear about very soon too. We don't have much longer to wait until a publicly facing beta build for Android 12 arrives though. Google has touted December for eligible Pixel phones, which will include the Pixel 4 all the way up to the recently released Pixel 6 series and naturally every device released in between those. We want to know though your thoughts about Android 12L or what you think of this ridiculously early preview. Pop a comment down below and we'll do our utmost to answer as many as possible, but stay tuned for more content on 12L as those beta releases open very soon. With that said though, this is Damon with 95 Google saying thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I will speak to you later.